Today we're going to show you how to put your business cards into your iPad so you don't have to take a whole bunch of cards home with you. This episode brought to you by Dine.com. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at apps to keep your iPad a play. It is Monday and we've got another business app. Now I reviewed a card app a couple months ago and I was using that. But there were some problems with the card app and the biggest thing was it kind of hijacked your cards, your information, unless you use their programs to uh, retrieve the cards. And I didn't like that at all. So I actually got rid of the card program and uh, I I've, I've went and I looked for another one. I went and I had talked to, while I was at CES, we were talking about card programs and somebody said, well, why don't you try CamCard? CamCard doesn't do that hijacking of business card information. It'll let you take it to Dropbox. It'll let you take it to different other drives that you can set up in there. And I said, oh, that's perfect. And that's what we're going to talk about today. For a little cam card, here's how it works. Now, you can see some of the business cards here, and I'm not going to uh, bring them up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my regular business card. It's, it's simple. All you have to do is add the card, and you're going to capture a card image, and then you're going to use the camera, and then you're going to find your card. Oh, say, okay. So you basically have your card here. Now, on the one side, you have you hit this button that slides. It's actually the photo button. It can slide. It can do one card, multiple cards, or a QR code. So if you bring it all the way down, it's looking for a QR code and wants you to put the QR code there. If you go all the way up, you're going to take a picture of one card and one card only. And if you go into the middle, you're going to take multiple cards. So you basically take a picture, put up the next card, take another picture, so on and so forth. So we're going to do the one card. So I'm just going to kind of center it in here. It's going to let it focus. And then I'm going to hold down the button because we know with our iPads, we hold down the button and then we let go. And that's what takes the picture. All right, so it takes the picture and then it finds the corners and then uh, it sees my thumb, but you know, that's okay. As you can see, it then turns around and puts everything in here. Of course, there's going to be some interesting things uh, that, that you'll find uh, that show up into this. And you got to go and you have to correct it. So you can uh, go and you can fix this work. I have no idea. Oh, that basically said host and podcast coach. The phone number is correct. The email. The email is uh, jeffp at geekazine.com, that's correct, www.geekazine.com, that's correct, and if I want to put any, anything else, I can do that. I can hit the save button, and what it does is it remembers the picture. It holds the picture in there, you can even take a picture of the back of the card if you need to. And then uh, once, it, once it puts it in, you can then sync it up, and you hit the sync and you go from there. Now, where does it sync? You can sync it to iCloud. You can sync it to, uh, you can send things to Twitter. You can send things to Facebook or some other things through SMS. So let's say I want to send it SMS to my phone. I just have to hit SMS. I have to put in my, my actual phone number and send it off. We won't do that here. We can save the account information. We can save it to, to any role. We can also set up things like Dropbox. We can also set up things like Google Drive. So and I can share this card, email, SMS, or even with a QR code right there. And that's pretty cool because then somebody can then take their phone and scan that QR code. And all of a sudden the business card is on their phone as well as your iPad. Lots of cool things you can also set up. Like for instance, I have a group for CES, all the, pay, all the cards that I, that I have in my personal CES bundle. And then, of course, as I continue on, the more cards that I collect, uh, I can group them in wherever they need to. If I need to delete, I can easily delete. If I want to check it, I just have to hit the check button. And, oh, there might be a problem with the, uh, with the, the, the dot .com here, so I, will, I can fix that. I'm going to cancel that out because I don't want to save any changes. And then go from there. Once the name of the app is called CamCard, there is a free version and there's an HD version. The HD version is $2.99 in the App Store, so it's relatively cheap, but of course the free version is absolutely free and you can check it out there. You know, you want a faster internet, right? From bottlenecks, from traffic spikes, it can keep people from reaching your website. Because, let's face it, 
Uptime is the most important thing for your websites. That's where Dine.com comes in. With outsourced DNS, you can make sure you can, people can get to your websites. Just like the big boys, companies like Twitter, Zappos, Netflix, and more trust Dine to keep their services up and not bottlenecking. And with their enterprise level DNS, you can get great features like global traffic, load balancing, and active failover, which they do for over 4 million customers. Another advantage, with managed DNS, you can connect items like webcams or DVRs to private channels so you can pull from at any time. And if your business relies on that email list of yours, well, Dyn's email solutions can get your message to clients and customers with secure email, bulk email, and high volume mailbox services. It's simple. Get faster internet by using Dyn for DNS. Simply visit dyn.com, that's dyn.com forward slash podcast 30 and fill out the contact form or start shopping right away and save 30% by using the pro uh, promo code podcast 30. That's all over at dyn.com forward slash podcast 30. And that's this episode of iPad 365. My name is Jeffrey Powers. What do you think of CamCard and CamCard HD? Are you looking for a solution to actually scan your business cards in? Check it all out and let me know. You can Twitter me over at iPad365. Of course, the email is show at iPad-365.com. All right, we will be back on Wednesday when we will show you a really cool application that will show you augmented reality. We'll do that on Wednesday when it will be another episode of iPad 365. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out. You should follow Graphite on Twitter at GraphiteINC. <laughs>